Hi guys, did you ever wondered what is the smallest city in the world or maybe the smallest city in your country? I did wonder what is the smallest city in Russia and that's why I'm here in Chikalin. Here you have to push, here you have to pull and do a lot of different things. Chikala is located 220 kilometers away from Moscow in the southwest direction. According to official statistics, the population of the city this year is 863 people. This is the most underpopulated city in Russia. By the way, the city is included in top 5 smallest cities in the world. For example, in the city of Han, Croatia, live only 72 people. And in the United States, there is the city Bufford, which had only one person living there in 2012. Before, the city was called Lichvin. The city was founded in 16th centuries for the defensive purposes of the Moscow state, and it did an excellent job protecting it from southwest side. All attempts to conquer it ended in failure, and it all because of the location of the fortress. It is located on Saborne mountain, surrounded by ravines. Now there is a beautiful park with an amazing views of Aka River. The city received its modern name in honor of 16-year-old Alexander Chikalin, a hero of Soviet Union. During the World War II, Lichvin was captured by the Nazis. Sasha was collecting intelligence on the location and number of Nazi units, their weapons and roads of movement. After the betrayal of one of the city residents, Sasha was taken hostage and executed in the central square. Later, in 1944, Lichvin was renamed Chikalin. Right now, I'm in city center. And behind those pine trees, you can see the memorial for Lenin. In each Russian city, you can see these kind of memorials. Before, right here, this place, there were a cathedral. But the Soviet people decided that it's better for the Lenin's memorial place. The infrastructure of the city is very, very small. There are no usual mass markets and banks here. There are only three shops in the city. There is only one school in which only eight first graders entered last year. And only one hospital in the city, in which there are only two workers, a therapist and a pharmacist. Also, only one church built in 1821 has survived in the city. There is another interesting building. One of the rich landlords lived in this place and this 
guy who lived here, he built the church that was replaced by Lenin Memorial. And another thing, in like a lot of Russian small cities, there is a gas pipes going through all the city, all over. Because of them, you can enjoy the views and the beauty of the buildings the fullest. So here in the city, till our time, you can find the water column and you have to push so hard to get some water out of it. But look how fast and how easy I got fresh, cool, ice cold water. When you get to the Chikalin, you immediately start to feel the atmosphere of the city. The feeling that everything here is on its own place. Everything is where it's supposed to be. No one's in a hurry. Everything goes so smooth and nicely slow. No rush, no traffic, no loud noises. And coming here from big city, you just want to enjoy the quietness and beautiful views. There is a lot of nice people living in Chikalin city and they all try to make it look prettier to recreate the history of this city so they can attract more tourists and people to get to know this place. Well, one of these people is Alexander Yulin and we're gonna take a look what else he can do. Alexander is potter, the only potter in the area. His workshop is located a few kilometers away from Chikalin, but everyone who wishes to learn pottery can come for his master class, which I enjoyed the fullest. This process was so attracting, and I couldn't resist to try it myself. Так. Так его сначала примять? сверху вниз, да, примять водички и начинать раскручивать. Can you imagine? You can do 30 or 300 like this a day. That's very hard. It's really harder than I expected. I mean, I thought it was not easy, but not like this, especially when you have to work with your legs and arms and here you have to push, here you have to pull and do a lot of different things. Ah. And all I have is clay in my hands and that's it. And a cone, I don't know. Do you like it? I mean, for the first time, maybe it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. 
I think this is a modern art, don't you? I like my trophy. Look at this. I made it myself with a little bit help, of course, of Alexander. When he touched it, I mean, I got something going, but when my hands got into it, I got as a result this trophy. So I'm gonna take it home, but I am so happy. This experience was totally amazing. I was wishing to do and try pottery for so long, and that's the first time I did it. And uh, I mean, don't look at the result. Look at my happy face. <laughs> ago I did not myself know about the existence of city of Chikalin and how many people can possibly live in the smallest city in Russia, but how pleasantly surprised I was to find out that the smallest city has a huge history behind it and so many interesting facts and stories. And tell me, what did you think about the smallest city in Russia? Please put some likes, subscribe and that will motivate me to explore Russia further.